Come Come Right. <laughs> 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 the priests of my 
Right? Give me Leviticus 20 and 15. Right? A damn, a damn threesome might go down with that damn dog tonight. Right? That's how these people are, man. And we're going to show you according to the scriptures. Right? Leviticus 20 and 15, whoever have it. Read. It's Leviticus 20 and 15. Good. And if a man lie with a beast. The Lord said if a man lie with a beast, we an animal. Right? Come on. He, sh he shall surely be put to death. The Lord said that man shall surely be put to death. That man or woman shall surely be put to death, man. We got a lot of freaks out here. But like I said, that's why him can relate to that, man. That's why him can relate to it because that's what they were doing. That's what they were doing in the ancient time. And still doing today. Right? We, you got to uh, look at that that famous documentary, man, Mondo Magic. And Arthur you, you comedic dudes oh, wow. and Afrocentric dudes, you get mad. Say, oh, you Israelites, oh, you just show you just show one video of Africans doing that, and you think that's African culture. We never said that that's all of Africans, but a lot of you engage in it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you try to talk bad about black Americans and the rest of the tribes, and you over in Africa doing all kinds of abominations, man. But you always try to talk about the, Amer the American Negro. Oh, he's a crackhead. He's, he's on welfare. Single parent homes. All right, you in jail, this and that. You're killing each other. You hate each other. Man, you and some of you African tribes, man, this damn 10,000 people slaughtered before the day is over, man. The civil wars you be having over there. They ain't tell us nothing about a couple of cats killing each other in the Bronx. Maybe 100 brothers killing each other in the Bronx. When thousands of y'all are killing each other. Don't give us that nonsense, man. You can't compare. The curse is all over the earth. Right? Shout out to whoever that is. All right? The, um, the curse is all over the earth on all nations, but it's on our nation too. All right? We, we acknowledge that. We acknowledge that the curse is on Israel also, but the earth, the whole earth is cursed. Give me that in Job 9 24. Give me Job 9 24. Uh, give me uh, Proverbs 29 and 12. The whole earth is cursed because you bastards, you so-called white people, took over rulership. You're a violent man, and you you're, you project your violence onto all nations. Right? It tells you uh, uh, another scripture we'll get a little later, Lord's willing. A violent man entices his neighbor. And that's what you do, man. It tells you when Cain was kicked out of the Garden of Eden, which uh, Cain is, is uh, the equivalent to Esau in the beginning. When Cain was kicked out of the Garden of Eden, it tells you in the Josephus, he went all throughout the earth, raping, killing, pillaging, and killing the, the different nations of people. Because there were people on the earth, there were other uh, people on the earth at the time. The scriptures just don't get in, into detail, but other people were there. And it said Cain went around robbing and killing and pillaging all the different nations of people that were in the beginning. See, that's sort of the same spirit, same spirit of Esau today. This so-called white man, he don't mind his business, he don't stay at home. Always in somebody else's affairs. Russia want to take Ukraine because they want to become part of NATO. So they don't want them to get strengthened. Why don't white crime? All right, the so-called white man is not keeping at home. Russia, mind your damn business and sit down. If Ukraine want to become part of NATO and strengthen themselves. What is it your business? But see, that's the so-called white man for you, man. Right? They, right, they, they, they know uh, if they become part of NATO, America will set up the military bases and plant missiles there like they did in Cuba, during the Cuban Missile Crisis. So America said, okay, you was down there with Castro with missiles on the coast of America, we gonna have missiles on the coast of Russia and Ukraine. If they become part of NATO, yes, we're gonna plant missiles there. And it's all part of the Most High program. But all these nations gonna be risen up to World War III. How hard is gonna happen? Whether it happened now, whether it happened down the line, whether this sparks it or this, this might calm down and the Lord can spark it another way. Don't worry about it, it's going, it's going, it's going, to, it's going to happen. The scriptures say, though it's heavy, wait for it, for it will surely happen. So even if this die down, don't get discouraged because that happens all the time. It's wars and rumors of wars, all right? People thought Saddam Hussein was World War III. All right, 1992, uh, 2003 was World War III, Afghanistan, and uh, 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 Iraq, all right, uh, the, the war in Kosovo. That was going that was going to lead to World War III, but it's all in the plans of the Most High. If it subsides, don't get discouraged, because it's still going to lead to the Lord's ultimate plan, all right? The Lord can have this calm down and spark up a little conflict. It could be a little conflict, then it could be a damn rocket fire in a country, and that just start World War III. So the Lord is in charge of this thing, man. Always remember that. The Lord is always in charge. All right, read that, brother. 
This is Job 9, 24. Good. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. So that's why you got all these nations destroying, killing. There's, there's killing and death all over the place, man. You always try to put the black man in the news media. Always try to demonize us. Yes, our people go off. Because the script, like the script is saying, our people are like a wild ass, man. You black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you're like a wild ass, the Lord said. They tell you that in uh, Jeremiah. But what? All these nations, man. It's all, it's the most I bring in judgment all over this earth, man. He said he's going to punish Israel and he's going to punish all these heathens at the same time. I read. He covered it, the face of the judges thereof. Yeah, he covered up the faces of the judges thereof. Like uh, uh, yesterday, the so called St. Patrick's Day, and my brother was putting up some of the uh, black images and uh, uh, Byzantine images of St. Patrick as a so called black man. All right, the brother's putting up on Facebook about six or seven pictures of showing St. Patrick. And you can even Google some of them pictures. You ain't even got to really go deep in Russian icons and uh, uh, the other books that got the images. You can Google some of them images, man. And if you go down far enough, you'll see the darker images of St. Patrick, the brown skin images. And the white man will tell you, when they do the uh, iconoclasm, right, they'll tell you, oh, uh, th that's because it was painted on wood. The reason why the face is brown because it was painted on wood. Get the hell out of here. Do you mean to tell me an artist is painted on wood and he don't know how to make, just because it's wood, he don't know how to make the face look okay? <laughs> Get out of here, man. What are you talking about? Or the, the face is brown because it was painted on wood. You so-called white people are liars, man. But what about the icons when the damn image is as dark as Brother Tobit, man? What are you going to say about that? Right? And the wood, the wood that they paint on is much lighter. So what are you going to say about that? Oh, that, that wood was darker? Get the hell out of here, man. See, the white man's a damn liar, and he don't want you to know a lot of the saints and the men in the past time, even if some of them were wicked, even if some of them were wicked, but the white man's such a damn demon, he said, look, I don't care. Everybody in history was white. I don't care. Even, even if they was off, they were still white. <laughs> Why? Because what? He wants you to, every, every historical figure, he wants you to think they was Caucasian. Nobody else got a history but him. He's a liar and a father of him. All right, read on. If not, where and who is he? So Job is saying, look, if this description doesn't fit the so-called white man Esau, then who is this description? If not, where and who is he? If this not Satan, the devil, then who is it talking about? All right, read Proverbs 29 and 12. All right, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 12. If it's not talking about the devil, then who is it talking about? Man? Right, and give me a uh, first back of each one. And, um, and 11. Matter of fact, start at 7. Right? Who is it talking about if it's not talking about the devil, man? Who whitewashed everything? Who covered the faces of the judges thereof? All right? Who who made and, and, and tried to make everybody a Caucasian man? When you read 1 Maccabees 3.48, we don't have to get it. It said they laid open a book of the law wherein the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. Meaning what? They wanted to paint the images of themselves as the biblical images. Read Proverbs 29 and 12, brother. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 12. Good. If a ruler hearken to lies. Yeah, if a ruler hearken to lies. If the white man's a damn liar himself, if he hearken to lies, good. All his servants are wicked. All his servants are wicked, man. Jump up to two. That's good, but I want it, I want it two. Read Proverbs two. 29 and 2. Yeah, read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. Good. When the righteous are in authority, the righteous are in authority. Go ahead. The people rejoice. The people rejoice. Come on. But but when the wicked bear rule, and who's bearing rule right now? The wicked Esau, the so-called white. When the wicked bear rule, come on. Yeah, the people mourn. The people are in mourning. Like Why? Because the so-called white man is in power, and when he's in power, the people mourn. It's a state of mourning in the world when this devil is in power. All right, when the Lord put us back in power, everything gonna be at peace. They tell you in the book of Isaiah too, nation not gonna lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. There's gonna be peace, man. There's gonna be peace and order in this society. Right, you're not gonna, uh, the black man not gonna shoot a damn black woman over a bowling ball. You niggas are simple as hell, man. You get into a damn argument in a bowling alley over a damn bowling ball, and a black man shoots the damn black woman over a bowling ball. Yeah, this is stuff that's in the news, man. You niggas are out of your damn mind over a bowling ball. All right? And I know Jake, man, you bitch got a big mouth. 
but a lot of people can't. And wait till the pair of gas prices really skyrocket. Your man's that was showing off with the new bands, his ass gonna be on the three train next week. <laughs> 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 See that? Because people get so proud of this society, exactly. man. That's a fact. That's they a get fact. proud of most of our humble niggas, man. Exactly. Especially, nigga, you can't give our people nothing. Exactly. And we have become like that. Everything is based upon status. Everything just in the system, period. And we've got that. First thing niggas do, look at what you got. Look at what you got on. Oh, don't, don't meet a woman. No, mo first thing she want to know, what you got. If she's not a spiritual woman of the most high, a spiritual woman of the most high, she going to look at your relationship with the Lord first. That's the first thing she going to look at. A spiritual woman, which there's a remnant of them left on the earth. A spiritual woman, she's going to look at your relationship that you have with the Lord first, before anything. Yeah, she's going to look at, you know, how if you can provide for things of that nature. Because that's part of dealing with the relationship. But a spiritual woman, the first thing she's going to look at, does this man love God in righteousness? That's the first thing. But this world, what do they train you? What you got? What do you got? How much money you got? Right? That's why a lot of times these relationships, man, the money don't mean that. The woman just used the man up for that and dip off. And vice versa. Hell, sometimes a man use up the woman for her money and dip off. We ain't being biased up here so nobody don't get simple. Oh, you're always getting on a woman. Shut the hell up, man. We get on everybody. Right? Stop being a, 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 a sour puss all the time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, they just talk about, well, that's a damn lie. If you know anything, man, I've been out here over 25 years teaching this gospel diligently. I done got on many niggas and put them in their place, man. And checked them and recruited them to the point we had to fight dudes. We had to, we had to fight Jake because niggas ain't like getting checked. So don't start that nonsense about you just talking about women. That's a damn lie. We get on you men harder sometimes. Because you men supposed to know better. You supposed to be in order. That's why the nation is all chaotic now. Because you got a bunch of big ass babies running around, man. Bunch of big ass Tyrese baby boys running around. Niggas is grown ass babies, man. You say something to a dude, he get all emotional. Cursing, yelling, wanna fight. Don't know, I don't know how to take no orders. Looking at you like you crazy. Nigga, nigga, no, no, no nigga tell me what to do. But the white man tell your black ass what to do every day. Get out of here, man. You niggas kill me with that. The white man tell your black ass what to do every day. But another nigga can't tell you nothing. You disgust me with that, and you disgust the Lord with that. The Lord can't even tell you what to do, but the damn white man can tell you what to do every day in this wicked-ass empire. They tell you when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. This damn devil is in power. He's telling you a damn man can become a woman and get married to another man becoming a woman. All kinds of uh, uh, damn sexual confusion out here. And you niggas listen to this society. But the minute the Lord tell you something out of the scriptures, you get mad. The minute we tell you to repent and do right by the Lord, you don't like it. Give me a break, man. Nobody can tell you nothing. Nigga, your black ass get checked and told what to do by the white man every single goddamn day. And you take your black ass and you listen to him like a good old slave should. So don't tell us a damn thing, man. You are, you are, you are still, in 2022, you still in a damn cotton field. <laughs> You're still in the cotton field, fighting to be the house nigga, to leave your people in the cotton field and listen to master, have a closer relationship and rub shoulders with master. Like a lot of you so-called black women nowadays, you run into the damn white man, and that's why he's killing your ass. Your ass being found dead everywhere messing with these white men. Because Esau's a psychopath. He's a psycho. And when he, uh, uh, when he get the, when he, he look, and he realized, wait a minute, I got a nigger in the bed. I got a nigga, I got a nigga back with you. I got a nigga back with you with me. And Esau, he snaps. And what happens? He kills you. That's what he does. And that's going to continue to happen. Since you, you want your little good old white daddy, zaddy, and shining armor, you're going to keep getting with him and he's going to keep killing him. I uh, read what you got, brother. Uh, first Maccabees 1 and 7. Read. This is First Maccabees 1 and 7. Good. So Alexander reigned 12 years and he then died. Right, Alexander reigned 12 years and died. Go ahead. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. Right, and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. He parted his kingdom 
amongst his four generals. Like, you know, we always read the story during Hanukkah and other times and explain what happened with Alexander. Go ahead. Verse 9. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. Right, after his death, they put crowns upon themselves. Go ahead. So did their sons after them many years. Go ahead. And evil were multiplied in the earth. See that? It tell you when a white man, it tell you when a so-called white man came into power, evils were multiplied in the earth. Then you want to get mad at us. So oh, you God just talking about the white man, white man, white man, white man. All right, the Bible speaks about it. But we speak about everything. Everything that's relevant to these scriptures and the most high we speak about. But see, that's on you. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna be rebellious? And stubborn, a lot of you black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you want to be rebellious and stubborn, then the most I'm going to deal with you. The most I'm going to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? Whoever don't want to come through this straight gate, go to the wide gate of destruction. All right, go in that big sea of missile fire. Give me our Revelation 21 and 7. Go into that big sea of missile fire. If you don't want to, if you don't want to come into the most high righteousness, the straight gate, the or the narrow bit, then go into that sea of nuclear fire. That's what you're going to get, bro. Read that, King. This is uh, Revelation 21 and 7. He that covereth shall inherit all things. He that overcometh shall inherit all, all things. He that overcometh, overcometh what? Keeping the commandments. Overcome this wicked society. Overcome the demons and the temptations of this world. Overcome the lust of the flesh. Overcome going back into this world and being wicked. He that overcome all of that. Go ahead. And I will, and I will be his God. I will be his God. Go ahead. And he shall be my son. Come on. Verse eight. But the faithful. But the fearful. And, oh, go ahead. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable. Abominable. abominable and murderers, and murderers, go ahead. and homemongers, and sorcerers, go ahead. and idolaters, and all liars, and what? And all, all liars, liars, all liars, come on, shall have their part, shall have their part, come on, in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. In, the, in that lake that burns with fire and brimstone, they gonna have their part. All right. So if you fearful, you're unbelieving. All right. You're on the prowl, Esau. We see you on the prowl. <laughs> All right, probably looking for some little boys or some homeless brothers to pick up. Some homeless brothers to pick up. Hey, you want to come up to my million dollar Upper East Side apartment? I give you two hundred dollars, nigga, if you let me bend your over. Yeah, that's that's East Side, the damn pervert, man. Slip your Mickey. Slip your Mickey, right? Yeah, you can see it in his eyes, man. But well, some of these niggas, they ain't got a slip of Mickey. Jake's so damn desperate, he'll do it willingly. Excuse me? He cracked you up? Chill, 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 chill son. Now uh, you white people, the Lord gonna crack your head. Don't worry about us cracking you up. Keep the Lord gonna crack your head, you damn white supremacists. You damn white supremacists. Get out of here. All right, you damn cleansmen. Be what you got for you. Which is the second death. Which is the second death, the nuclear fire. All right, the nuclear destruction, the fire. The first death was the flood. All right, the second death is the nuclear destruction. The Lord gonna bring bombs on this place, man. Yeah, Babylon is gonna be bombed and burned and destroyed. That's what's gonna happen to this place. So, what's going on in uh, Ukraine, Russia, all these nations, you know, wars, rumors of wars. They're talking about Taiwan, the invading, China invading Taiwan, North Korea invading South Korea, you know. But, but, remember, that's war. Remember, I told you that you don't call me until the damn books are, and the chariots are here. All right? <laughs> you can say Putin's a mad man. He wants the Lord Satan too. He got his missiles on high alert. Never don't call me until the nukes and chariots are here. All right? <laughs> Give me up Isaiah 9 and 5. Now, but you know, it, it's still interesting what's going on. How the most high stirring things up. It's still wars and rumors of wars. But damn it, set it off, goddammit. Set it off already, goddammit. See what you got, brother, whoever got it. This is Isaiah 9 and 5. Good. For every battle of the warrior. Hey, Acts chapter 1, verse 6. Please. For every battle of the warrior is with confused 
noise and garments rolled in blood. Right, every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Go ahead. But this, but shall, this, come on. But this shall be with burning This battle is going to be with burning of fire. It's going to be with burning and fuel of fire. Be the hope that it's All right, call me when I'm damn loose and chariots while flying. On uh, Acts 1 and 6, read. The book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. Come on. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So they asked, you know, that was that was a that was a question of the day. That was a golden question. They wanted to get out of captivity, man. <laughs> they wanted to get from under the Romans. We want to get from under the modern day Romans, Esau, America, the white man, the modern beast. All right, come on. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons. It's not for you to know the times or the seasons. Go ahead. Which the Father hath put in his own power. That the Father put in his own power, meaning it's none of your damn business for the most high going exactly to bring the kingdom. Right? No man knows the day or the hour. Christ said not even him himself. Right? It's none of y'all going to worry about that. Just keep doing what you got to do. Right? Go ahead. But ye shall receive power. The Lord said you shall receive power. What's up, Esau? All right, what can we do for you? All right, he look like, he looks like a hard rock. Yeah. He look like hard rock. He can't, he can't, he can't do ice cream enough. He can't do ice cream enough. Like, we're supposed to be intimidating with something. What's up, what you got, Esau? Right, like we should say, what you looking at, nigga? What the fuck you looking at? <laughs> What's the bottom? The bottom, nigga, you eyeballing me, nigga, what's wrong? <laughs> Esau came through like a tough guy. Tell you, man, the race was not going. Esau was sizing me up in the court authority, man. I mean, on uh, 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 Prince Station. Esau was sizing me up. You saw me in my head, man, my garby. Esau, I said, it's going to be on with these crackers, man. It's going to be on. It's about to be on, man. Esau was sizing me up. Yeah, you one of them niggas. You damn right I am. <laughs> you damn right. You know how I am. I'm not hot. You see the God. You know what I'm saying? We know we calling your ass the devil every day that we can. That's right. right. You know who I am, boy. Right? And you better huh. get away from him, sis. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You got to get out. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Come back home. Get out. Come, come, come back home. Come back home. Come here. Come back home. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't go. Don't go. Please don't go. Please don't I'm go. You, yeah. you know, I'm telling you, man, these black women, they go, they going to get caught with these devils, man. And it's already happened. A lot of the media is not reporting. You got to dig underground into the news. A lot of these white men killing these black women, man. And they still running to them. There was an article that came out. I think it was in Essence Magazine. I'm going to try to pull that article up. Where a black woman said her white husband keep calling her nigga while they, while they having sex. And, I, and this, this dumbass, she gonna say, I love my husband, he treats me good, he's a good provider, he's a great man, but when we're having sex, he's constantly calling me a nigger. That's to see that. Because that's that that's that dominant spirit, that's that 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 cave beast slave master spirit come on Esau when he's dominating our women and having his way with them sexually, and that spirit comes out like, yeah, I'm dominating you, you nigga bitch. Nigga monkey whore, that spirit comes out of him. Because he got her in a, in a subjective position. When a, when, a, when a man is, when you have a sex with a woman, it's like, you know, you have power over her. You, you, you're getting into her spirit. Like the scriptures say, you humble her. Right? So he got that dominance over her, and he's calling her black nigga monkey bitch while you having sex with her. And she's supposed to be his wife. Right? But then she said, he's a great man. I love him. And then in the article, she still talked bad about black men. I'm gonna pull that off. I think it's an essence magazine. That I love my white husband. He's great. He treats me well. Da 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 da. da. But he keeps calling me nigga when we have sex. Cause you a dumb black ass nigga woman that wanna be married to a white man. So that's what the Lord is letting that happen. And her dumb ass probably gonna stay with him. She probably gonna stay with him. And one day he gonna say, "You nigga bitch," and he gonna choke her to death. And she ain't gonna kill her. And then probably stew her with some damn. Uh, potatoes and carrots over some gravy and rice and have nigga woman stew. 
Right? Yeah. We're gonna have Hannibal Lecter, nigga woman stew. Hannibal. Yeah, yeah. Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter, right? <laughs> silence of the Eves. <laughs> Not silence of the lambs. Right? Like the uh, damn. <laughs> the Hannibal Lecter set up. I'm on over. I'm having an old friend for dinner. <laughs> Right, he's like, well, come on over. I'm having my black nigga woman wife for dinner. Right, yeah, he's gonna kill your ass, man. This is real stuff. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at the language. Don't shoot the messenger, man. Get the message, don't shoot the messenger. All right, get me, brother. Read. This is verse 6. For unto us a child is born. So that's it on that. Every yeah, battle it. is with a. Uh, Confused noise, but this this gonna be nuclear, man. This gonna be uh, news. All right, no, he was in Acts one. Yeah, continue in Acts one. Yeah, so like Acts one and a uh, six again. Yeah, oh, Acts one and six. So like it. Yeah, read. The book of Acts chapter one verse six. Good. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Right. Are you gonna restore again the kingdom of Israel? Good. And he said unto them. It is not for you to know the times or the seasons. He says, not for you to know the times or the seasons, the exact time of the seasons. Go ahead. Which the Father hath put in his own power. Look, that's the most high's business. We're going to let that happen. Go ahead. But ye shall receive power. He said, you're going to receive power. Go ahead. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The Spirit has come upon you. Go ahead. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both Jerusalem. You're going to be witnesses unto me in both Jerusalem. Go ahead. And in all Judea. And in all Judea, come on. In Samaria. Good. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right, meaning the gospel is going to be preached all over the world. Right, come on. And when he had spoken these things, well, while they beheld, he was taken up. See that? While, while Yahweh Shah spoke these things after he came back and, uh, and appeared to the disciples. And after he spoke uh, these things, he Taken up. Alright? Luke wrote in the book of Acts, he was taken up. Good. And they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Right, the, the, uh, the uh, chariot just took him up. Truth. He went up into the chariot and he disappeared onto the chariot. Good. What's up, bro? And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, up, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them. In white apparel. Right, two angels. Go ahead. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up? He said, Ye men of Galilee, why are you standing gazing up? Come on. Into heaven. Go ahead. This same Jesus. This same Hamashiach Yahawashai. Go ahead. Which is taken up from you which into heaven. Which is taken up from you into heaven. Go ahead. Shall so come in like manner. That's he's coming back the same way. Right? So the ghosts of the chariots, man, that's what's going to come. As Yahweh Shah is making his second coming, as the loops are being launched all over the earth, the earth, the earth, the earth Yahweh Shah is going to be making his second coming. So they said, why y'all looking surprised? Why y'all gazing up into heaven, mesmerized and surprised? The same way Yahweh Shah came, that's how he's coming. Back right on them chariots, man. So that's what we're looking for. That's it, man. That's the final frontier. Brothers, you know, brothers want to debate about what seal we in, what time. Listen, brother, listen. The, the, once the seventh seal comes, then we know. Okay, right, then we know. We can debate about what seal we in, what time it is. I want the seventh damn seal. It is done when, when, the, when the nukes are launched, man. Nukes and chariots, that's it. And look, it, the, both, both of the vibrations are floating in the air. You know, there's, there's, there's chariot sightings all over the earth. And then there's Luke talk now. You know, everybody talking about Putin, Putin, Putin. All right, you got dumb, simple niggas. F Putin. I fight for Ukraine, but then take your black ass over there and get your head blown off, man. No Russian soldiers are happy niggas for breakfast, man. No Russian soldiers were happy. The average nigga can't shoot. You shoot and you shoot everybody in the damn hood, but the person you 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 aiming at. Sideways. Yeah, you shoot sideways. No man, no, no, no Russians will have your eyes for, for breakfast, man. We know about what we know about. Uh, uh, I've studied into some of the Russian training techniques, man. 
we have, back, back in 2003, we had a Russian soldier out here. That cracked a truck gun for six hours, man. Six hours he broke down a Russian military, their training strategies, that he gave us nuclear secrets and all that. Cracked a truck right here on this corner. Back in 2003, that cracked a truck gun for six hours. We have big Russian damn Vladimir looking damn cracker, man. And a cracker broke it all down. So, man, the average thing running through the projects like this. <laughs> 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 Listen, man, I'm telling you, man. That's a fact. The man, let, no, it got no time. I got it. I got it. I think I still got it on Consente. That's what we used to record on Consente. And that, that devil, man, that devil stood out here for about six hours talking to us. Man. You're breaking everything down. Tell us how they train in Russia. Tell us, man, listen. If the average JK ready, man, no white boys will have your ass for breakfast, man. If the most high ain't with you, I'm gonna say with you. They have your ass for breakfast, man. He's so the hunter. Cat was telling us, man, how they, how they be in the wilderness of the forest and they take big logs, they gotta take big pieces of log tree and put it on their back and run up, up, uh, uh, run up, up, up like mountains and stuff in the, like hills and stuff in the wilderness to make their backs in all kinds of crazy type training, man. Jake ain't ready for nothing like that, man. Jake is not ready for nothing like that. Nigga ain't put a big piece of log on his back and have to run up a damn mountain with it or a hill with it just to get his shoulders and back strong. Jake ain't ready for that, man. And this, this, this dude was, this was a big, this was a big Russian dude, man. Big, <clears throat> six, five, six, six. About 300 pounds, solid, light bush. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, Jake ain't ready, man. They, and these guys are trained to kill from a young age. Watch that movie on Salt with uh with uh, uh Angelina Jolie. They show you how they train the little Russian children from young, man. They train them to be deadly spies and double agents and everything, man. <laughs> these niggas ain't ready, man. You got a little 40 cow on the block, think you're doing something. You ain't ready, man. So you wanna run over talking about our if the youth if you train me to the fight, I'll go over there. Some some 60-year-old nigga married to a Ukrainian woman talking about he'll go to Ukraine and fight for his wife's country. Nigga, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, knock it off. You know what I'm saying? Give me a break till you get something else, man. But we'll fight right here for your own people. But you gonna get on a plane and go somewhere and fight. As soon as you get over there, they gonna launch a damn rocket. Wherever you at, and you think you're gonna get blown up. You ain't gonna have a chance to fight. Like they, they show they show that footage on inside edition. Right there was just, he was just walking, walking down the street, a damn bomb came. Blew, 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 blew his ass up, man. They blew up, they blew up the, the Russians, they bombed a damn hospital. They they bombed a um, pregnancy hospital over here. Schools, everything. Yeah, they, they bombed a uh now it's almost a damn accident. Right, but they bombed, um, they blast what you get for tailgating. But anyway, they bombed a, um, a hospital over there, man, a, um, you know, a, a, a hospital for uh, pregnant women. And the, the one woman, they, they uh, what up? They took, they took the woman out on a stretcher, right? And the baby died. The woman was on a stretcher. Oh my God, oh, da, 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 da. And the baby died, this is a couple of days later. Man, Jake, 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 so don't come up here with, with you know, uh, uh, we up here to teach this word, man. Don't right. come up here with no folly. We don't want to hear no foolishness. We don't want to hear your own vain opinion. It's thus saith the Lord or it's nothing at all. Nothing at all. You're not ready, man. You're talking about you going to go to Ukraine. F you and you're going to go to Ukraine and fight for the Ukrainian people against Russia. Man, they will have your black ass for breakfast. Boy, you have no idea. You have no idea. All right, if the Lord ain't with you, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord gotta be with you. Give me Isaiah 51 and 20. Right there, 
running Ukraine and fight for the Ukrainian people against Russia. And, it was and the nigga China. won't even fight right here. It was the China. It was the China situation last night, right? Yeah. There's, there's all kinds of stuff going on in the news, man. All kinds of stuff. It's just endless stuff. You can't even can't even delve into all of it. It was the China president met up with Putin, though. I ain't even I ain't even going to half the other stuff that's going on, man. Read what you got, brother. There's just so much going on. This is Isaiah 51 and 20. Go ahead. Thy sons have fainted. The Lord said our sons have fainted, man. How the hell are you going to go to fight in Ukraine when you Lord said you fainted? Go ahead. They lie at the head of all the streets. They lie at the head of all the streets. Go ahead. As a wild bull in a net. The Lord said you like a wild bull in a net. You on a street corner, man. I was out in Jersey today. What, what Jersey? They got a street in New Jersey on the corner with no shirt on, hair sagging, get a little bit of warm weather. They got outside with no shirt on. Yo, what up? What's going on the block? The Lord said, your sons are fainted. They lie on the street. Of, nigga, all the nigga know how to do is be on the street corner. He don't know how to go to no real warfare. Look, Jake is a homo now. Jake is a faggot. Hold it here.
Wednesday. I'll see you on Monday. Shalom Israel, that concludes tonight's camp session live and direct from 34th Street, Midtown, Penn, Penn, uh, Harold Square, <laughs> New York, Salakia. All right, Penn Station's in my mind, but call me a shout We still got next. Hello, y'all. Hope y'all learned one thing tonight. If y'all learned one thing tonight, we've done our job. All praise to you. How was shot for Evan of our month? Call me a shout If you're in New York City, come on out. We'll be out in Times Square tomorrow night. Uh, 7th Avenue between 42nd and 43rd, um, 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. Come on out and get the good word. Come here, Shalom. Shalom.